And it is a Friday feature every Friday. Gary Dick of Inside Indiana Business joins us. And he, we talk about some of the big business stories of the week. And this really for Indiana has been a huge week for venture capital in yeah. our state. Tell us about this. A lot of money. Yeah, no question, uh, Anne Maria. If you think about it, these great tech ideas, you know, how do they, how do they gain traction? Well, they got to have money. They got to have funding to help do it. It's been a challenge for Indiana over the years. It's beginning to change. This week alone, $30 million in venture capital funding flowing in to a company uh, called uh, Springbuck. It's a health data company. They got uh, a big chunk of that money, $20 million. Another company, Zylo, a software company, attracted almost $10 million in additional funding. Those two are big stories. Add on to that the recent news that Amazon has Indiana, or Indianapolis on its top 20 list, and TechPoint CEO Mike Langelier says it's, it's all good. There's a lot I can't say uh, that nobody can right now. Um, it's all in process. But I think getting to that, of the 238 applications, yeah. getting to the top 20 is a huge statement um, and that we, should all, we can all be proud of uh, because that was a, a national, very public uh, mm -hmm. process, uh, very kind of objectively, empirically run. And um, there were, you had the usual suspects, and then you had a host of yeah. companies that are places that are surprises, yeah. and Indy's one of them. And you're, you're saying that this makes a statement to other tech companies, it does. other big deals that may be out it there. It does. So again, Langelier feels just getting on that list uh, is a big thing. Tech companies may not have had Indianapolis on their radar screen before are going to begin looking here. So whether we land it or not, we're still benefiting from this top 20 Amazon effect. No question. There's a New York Times piece yesterday, a story in the New York Times, that said, uh, don't count Indy out. So it's interesting to see some of the some of the uh, buzz that's starting to create around this. Yeah, wouldn't that be something? Well, yeah. it's Friday. Let's talk about beer, craft beer, of course. shall we? Yeah. Okay, Sun King, uh, located along 96th Street in Fishers, has been eyeing Fishers and then now kind of solidifying a new approach for how they're going to run business. Right, there. and in a much higher profile uh, spot, the yard that mm -hmm. uh, I think 40 million dollar uh, food and entertainment hub being planned uh, there in uh, in Fishers, and this continues Sun King's expansion. They've got the downtown brewery where they're pumping out 30,000 plus uh, barrels of beer. This new location, a tap room and a brewery will add to that, those expansion plans. You layer on top of that uh, the fact they're building a distillery and a brewery in Carmel as well. It's a big expansion story and on the show this week, Clay uh, Robinson will talk about distribution going beyond now Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky going even further out. Yeah, well, we've been talking about the yard and this being an incubator, but mm -hmm. not really hearing who's committed. Right. So Sun King's in. Sun King, uh, 1933 Lounge, the Burger Study, all local, which would be yeah. uh, an interesting flavor. Yeah, that'd be a so good draw. Speak. All flavor. right, yeah. uh, Gary Dick, thanks so much for joining us. And don't forget, Inside Indiana Business airs every Sunday morning at 11, right here on Channel 13, covering these stories and many more. So make sure you tune in for that.